expense records, something that happens to a company that is new or even an older company where a creeping disease called hidden expenses can kill a company. I've added this particular screen in so that you have a tool that allows you to track all of your overhead expenses, those things that just kind of creep along and cost you money from the bottom line and you don't know where the money goes. What happens, you create a new report in here by adding a new record, add a new month, go ahead and it'll automatically put in the uh, ID and then you type in the month for that particular month. This will be a calculation that will summarize every input that you make in this screen. This portal is used to add individual expenses. The reason that the first field is colored is that when you add a new record, you would pick the date, for example, and in this case, this is supposed to be back in March, so we'll back up to March and add a new record. So let's say on the 6th, we added this item, and it's going to be another test. And basically, this is the type of expense. In many cases, it could be a utility, it could be a service, or it could be something, for example, like fuel costs for vehicles or licensing for vehicles and anything. Anything that is an overhead expense that is not a direct labor kind of expense should be put in this area. What is a direct labor expense? That is something that it does not cause capital to be income. In other words, a direct expense is something like uh, renting a, an item, then you get paid for that service. And here, these are all stuff that you are spending money on and you're not receiving any income back for. Unless the item is actually taxable and at the end of the year you can write it off, then you would get some gain back on it. What you would do is you would add the type of expense that it is. The next thing you would do is you would put the expense paid to, for example, uh, if it were, say, postage stamps, it'd be the U.S. Post Office, or if you're mailing a package or something, then whatever the cost of it is. And then if it's taxable or not, is it yes or no taxable? Meaning that if you're going to write this expense off at the end of the year, then you want to go ahead and say, yes, it's taxable, uh, or I can deduct it. Now, one of the nice little things about this uh, portal is that there is a portal scroller in here that allows you to paste individual records in here. And what this is, is if you take and purchase things on the internet and you have an invoice that is a electronic or digital invoice, you can copy that and paste it into this screen. And or you can scan copies of invoices that you get, even the little tickets, and paste them into here. And the way you would do that is right click and say insert picture if it's something that's on your hard drive, or just paste if it's something that you have copied from an internet screen where you just sweep and copy the item and then paste it directly into this screen. Once it's pasted into here, and for example, let's just go ahead and put something in here, just anything. We'll just throw away uh, any kind of a form. Oh, let's see if this, yeah, that'll go in there. This is a web page I did for a website. Now that it's in here and I want to see it in the large view, I click the icon at the end of this row and it pops it up to a full printable size page, which means if I did want to print this, I could one, copy it and paste it into a word processor, or I could just print this screen as is by saving it as a PDF, either from the iPad or other device. And that way I would have a copy. Also, what's nice about having the invoices at the end of the year, when you're reconciling your taxes, you would have a copy of all your overhead expenses, and those can be either printed or transmitted to your uh, accountant program person, whoever does your uh, end of the year taxes for you. That way they'd have that information to work with. And also, if this is on the web server, they could, the accountant could actually log in and then actually take and copy this information directly to whatever records or print them that he needs in order to do your taxes. To get back to the screen we were just on, click this and return to the record. Now you'll see that it's got the test item is moved to the top based on date. So it would sequence in newest to oldest. 
So the earlier ones in the month would always be on the top, so they'd be in a category order. Now, as far as the listing, the expense listing will list each individual item for each month in this listing in case you needed to print that to send to uh, your account for quarterlies or whatever what method that they need to see your overhead ex expenses and deductibles. This concludes this video. If you have any questions or need more information, uh, now as, before I leave, you can do fine and do a monthly and just show the monthly or quarterly reports if you need to do that. Like I was saying, if you need to get additional information, just send me an email or give me a telephone call. Thank you.